Across the country today, the men and women of our armed services, both past and present, were honored for their service and sacrifices. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sheena Loshudo. Today, President Biden laid a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Taps playing mournfully as those who attended bowed their heads. And here, closer to home, ceremonies were held all across the state. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill bringing us to one held in East Providence at the Squantum Association. Sheena, organizers tell me it's the 104th consecutive year of the annual gathering of the Infantry Lodge Associates. Veterans we spoke with say today's ceremony in East Providence is about gathering with old friends and taking time to reflect on the sacrifices made by our troops. It's an event with a long history. It was just a way to get together, um, if you will, break bread together, you know, respect each other, um, just reflect upon what you may have done together. An annual meeting that started when troops returned from World War I in 1920, the annual gathering of the Infantry Lodge Associates. Uh, G. Edward Buxton, he had just returned from World War I and decided that one of the things he missed was the camaraderie. So we started inviting people over his house and it, started, it grew every year. Part of what makes this event special, the meal, which has been a constant for the past 104 years. What would meal would you like to have to celebrate your return? So they picked local things, clam chowder, hot dogs, beer. And it continues to grow. Governor Dan McKee and other officials in attendance expressing appreciation for those who have served our country. To all soldiers who have served honorably, I salute you. Here, here. Here, here. The day also includes a reading of the names of fallen heroes, followed by a gun salute and the playing of taps. The lodge says it's about coming together to acknowledge the sacrifices of those who have served. I don't care what job you did in the service. You're a team member. You could be a cook or an infantryman or an artilleryman or a clerk. You're part of the team. Many at the event calling the camaraderie the most important part. Take time to reflect, but also to laugh together, share stories together. It's a, it's, a, it's a great experience. And to learn more about Veterans Day events across the region, head to WPRI.com. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.